Oh wow, this is pretty decent actually. I feel like this with some ice and some boba would actually be pretty good. Hi everyone, in today's video we are doing trying every canned boba drink at least that I can find. So for a while now, every time I go to the Asian supermarket, I see some canned boba drinks like canned milk tea, canned Thai tea, canned matcha, et cetera, et cetera. And I always get really curious if those are actually good. And so today we're gonna find out. So I'm gonna go around to different Asian supermarkets, see what their selection is there, and basically try as many as I can find, or at least as many as I can before I pass out from all the sugar. So yeah, if you guys are excited for this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and let's just head to the first Asian supermarket. Alright, so I just went to the first Asian supermarket which is Ranch 99 in Milpitas and I got Look at six different kind of boba drinks. I didn't expect them to have such a variety. I thought maybe they would have like two or three, but yeah, we got six over here. We have these two, which are by the brand OKF and they're like black sugar drinks. And then they had two different kinds of Thai tea. And then I also picked up this pearl milk tea drink. It looks kind of fancy. It looks like it has some like French on it as well. So I don't really know what's up with that. And then last but not least, I got this grass jelly drink, which I think is like herbal tea with grass jelly or something. But basically I used to drink this like every day after school when I was growing up. So this is super, super nostalgic for me and I loved it as a kid. So I'm really excited for this one. Let's go ahead and start with this one first because the packaging looks super cool with the tiger stripes. So this is the black sugar milk tea from OKF. I think you just twist off this cap. Mmm, smells very brown sugary. Of course, we gotta use our Feed Mei Mei Glass Boba Straw. Link is in the description as always. I'm gonna give this a stir. I don't know if there's like syrup at the bottom or something. Wow, that's really, really sweet. It's actually not bad. Definitely get the brown sugar flavor. Tea flavor could be stronger. It's just like a tiny hint. I do wonder how it would taste if I put actual boba inside. It does taste a bit watered down, but you know, these kinds of things I don't have very high expectations for, so I feel like it's not, it's not bad. All right, moving on to the next one. This one also is by OKF. It's the black sugar matcha latte. This one has a strange smell. Give it a good mix. It doesn't actually look that green for it being a matcha latte. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Oh God. I don't even know how to describe how it tastes. It has like this, kind of hint of grassy aftertaste, I guess it's supposed to be the matcha part, but it really doesn't taste like matcha. I guess it's like a worse version of the first one with a grassy aftertaste. And it's also, I feel like the texture is a little bit thicker. Oh God, yeah, no, don't get this, don't get this. So I would rank this one under the black sugar milk tea. All right, next let's try these Thai tea drinks. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one first. The brand is Royal Boat. This one's 16 ounces. Ooh. All right, never had Thai tea out of a can before. Oh, and from those first two drinks, there's like sugar coating my mouth. Let me drink some water first to cleanse my palate. All right, let's give this a try. Ooh, oh no, that does not taste like the ones that you get at boba shops or at the Thai restaurants. It tastes a lot more artificial, but it also doesn't even really have like the Thai tea taste. Like it maybe has like a tiny hint of it, but I feel like most of it doesn't taste like actual Thai tea. It tastes kind of like soy milk, I guess, like bad soy milk. Oh, it's like a protein taste maybe. It says it contains milk protein. I don't know. It just tastes like kind of artificial, which I don't like. And it's also very, very sweet. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this. I feel like I actually would put this below the matcha latte. So this is in last place right now. <laughs> Moving on to this Thai tea drink by the brand Kimbo. Okay, this one is definitely better than the first one. This one tastes like actual Thai tea. Still very sugary, but has a decently strong Thai tea flavor. This one is, is miles and miles better 
than the last Thai tea drink. Yeah, honestly, it's not bad. It's just that my mouth is just coated in sugar right now. So I just think everything I'm drinking is like way too sweet. I think I'm gonna put it in second place below the black sugar milk tea. Okay, I kind of need something more refreshing because everything I've been drinking is just like super sweet, super milky. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the grass jelly drink next. Oh my gosh, it smells like my childhood. I remember drinking these all the time when I was a kid. Oh, this was the best. Okay, let's give it a try. Mm. I'm not even really sure what the drink part of this is. It says it's like water, grass jelly, honey, cane sugar. So I think it's not even like tea or anything, but it goes so well with the grass jelly. It really highlights that grass jelly flavor. It's super refreshing, not like overly sweet, like the rest of the stuff that we've had. And the grass jelly part is definitely not like any fresh grass jelly that you might get at like Meat Fresh or something. Their grass jelly is very silky smooth and stuff. You're definitely not gonna get that in here, but this definitely has a special place in my heart. I don't know if I'm just being biased, but I think I might give this the number one spot now because it's not too sweet. It's super refreshing and light so i'm gonna rank this in the number one spot and last but not least we have this pearl milk tea by the brand called chin chin if you can see on there they have some like french writing at least i think that's french and since this one says pearl milk tea i wonder if it actually has boba in it i guess we'll find out upon the first look and smell it does not look promising it looks a very very watery it doesn't even look creamy and the smell not pleasant. I'm kind of nervous about this one, but here we go. So there are boba in it, but it's nothing like real boba. It's definitely not chewy, definitely not soft. It's more kind of like a jelly, but even then it's not a satisfying jelly and it's not a good jelly. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, it's not crunchy, but it's not silky. It doesn't really have any flavor. The milk tea itself is just really, really sweet with a really faint tea flavor. Very watered down, not milky or creamy. Still really, really sweet too. So yeah, no, definitely would not recommend this. I think if this one was just the liquid, I would put it right above the last place Thai tea. But with the boba, I feel like it makes it worse. So I might just have to put it in last place. Yeah. Didn't really end on a good note there, but let's head to the next Asian supermarket and hope we have some better luck there. Okay, so we just stopped by the second Asian supermarket, which was H Mart. They had a lot of different flavors like taro, Thai tea, normal milk tea, matcha, coffee, Hong Kong milk tea. So we got it all. First up, I'm gonna try this My Cafe Latte. And I picked this up because the last matcha drink we had was so awful. But this one, I feel like looked like the highest quality. So we're about to find out. This one looks more promising than the last one. At least it's green. The other one wasn't even green. Obviously not the best much I've ever had, but not bad. Definitely better than the other one, that's for sure. It's like not too sweet, you definitely taste the matcha. Like I said, obviously not the best matcha I've ever had, but what do we expect? It came from the supermarket, but yeah, not horrible. So yeah, this one is pretty decent. Definitely would put it pretty high. I think I would put it just under the grass jelly. So second place, pretty good. All right, next up, let's try these. This brand is actually a very famous Hong Kong milk tea place in Hong Kong. I'm sure if you've been to Hong Kong before, you've heard of it. I also have never tried like the actual place, so I won't be able to compare it, but we're just gonna try it out and see how it goes. So here I got their Hong Kong style milk tea, and then this one is the coffee milk tea. Let's give it a good mix. Hmm, definitely get a tea flavor, and it also tastes like maybe evaporated milk or um, condensed milk. So far, it's not super overly sweet, especially when compared to the other drinks that we've tried. If I was in a place where there wasn't a lot of milk tea places, I could definitely see myself buying this. I feel like I would put it pretty high up, just right under the matcha latte, so in third place. All right, next we have the coffee one from the same brand. Mix, 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 mix. Definitely smell the coffee in there. 
Oh wow, yeah, the coffee is definitely there. It's like a nice level of sweetness. I mean, depending on how sweet you like your coffee, I know some of you guys probably like black coffee, but I am not that kind of person. This is pretty decent, actually. I feel like this with some ice and some boba, would actually be pretty good. I might even like it better than the Hong Kong one we just tried. I think I would rank it right above the Hong Kong milk tea. All right, next up, I guess we're gonna go for these drinks, which have very um, gas station-like packaging. I could totally see them selling this at a gas station. These are by the brand in Inno tea? Inno tea? And they have a decent amount of different flavors. So this one's matcha. They have taro inside. I also saw banana, but I didn't pick that up because I don't really like banana flavored things. I've also tried their brown sugar one in the past. I did it in a live, so I'll link that in the cards if you want to see me try that one. From what I remember, I did not like the boba inside, but I think I thought that the drink was okay. I am nervous. Here we go. The boba, like I remembered, I did not like. It actually tastes very similar to the previous drink that we had with boba, the pearl milk tea that we got at Ranch 99. It really does not taste good when they add it, so I feel like they should just sell the milk tea itself without the boba because it's not actually boba. Let me try the drink. I mean, I definitely get a small hint of matcha. It's definitely not as strong as the matcha that we tried earlier like that one is a lot better and more like a matcha latte this one just has like a faint matcha ish flavor it's very very sweet yeah i don't think i would uh really recommend this one so i think i would rank it just above the black sugar matcha latte from okf all right next up the taro version since i already know what the boba is like i'm just gonna avoid that and just drink the drink part okay it's better than the matcha one for sure and i feel like it's probably better than the brown sugar one i tried before i feel like it's just because a lot of places use like taro powder instead of real taro anyway so i feel like it's actually not that bad you get that you know taro powder taste by no means am i saying this is good taro milk tea but out of all the flavors i've tried from this brand this one's definitely the best so yeah i think i would put this right above the matcha one that we just tried all right next up we have this brand which is called Rico. At the bottom, it says Taiwan Classic made in Taiwan. So I guess we'll see if that means it's any better. Let's go ahead and try this taro one since we just tried a taro one so we can get a direct comparison. I think this one has boba inside as well. I feel like it'll probably taste pretty much the same as the other boba we've tried. But yeah, let's go ahead and give it a try. Yep, same boba, same reaction. <laughs> Adding the boba really just makes the drink that much worse. So I feel like they should just take it out. The taro flavor, it does taste pretty similar, I feel like, to the last one. Let me do a side-by-side -side comparison. I feel like I might like this taro drink more. It is still really sweet, but I feel like it's not as sweet as this one. This one has kind of a lighter taste. My gut feeling is that this one is a little, little bit better, like in my opinion. So I guess I'll rank it just above the other taro drink. And last but not least, we have the classic milk tea drink from the same brand, Rico. Again, I'm gonna avoid the boba because I already know what the boba tastes like. Yeah, I feel like there is a tea flavor. I feel like the tea flavor is actually strong, but it's like very, it tastes very artificial. Like not strong tea flavor in a good way necessarily. <laughs> I would put this one right below the Eno tea matcha latte drink. Uh, I'm probably gonna go home and crash from all the sugar. Also, I wanted to mention while I was looking at these Asian supermarkets, I saw that they have these like instant boba, products there's like some different kinds of boba products in the freezer section so if i can find enough of them for a video let me know if you guys would want to see me try out the instant boba products because if you guys comment below that you want to see it i can definitely make that happen and yeah if you guys like this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when i upload give this video a thumbs up and here's today's comment shout out thank you so much for your support and if you want to be in the next video's comment shout out make sure you comment something down below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye What? Did right? not like. <laughs>
Oh, gosh.